Hi guys, my name is Nesk and this is a brief tutorial on how to separate the layers and the colors to do a linear half tone CMYK stencil like this of David Bowie. So let's get started. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm gonna use uh, this image of Marilyn Monroe. Uh, once you have selected your image, the first thing you need to do is to delete the background. So I use the lasso tool to delete it. Mm, and something like this. Once you have deleted uh, all the background of your image, you can start to uh, work with your uh, CMYK colors and layers. So I'm going to close this image. And I have here uh, one image with uh, all the background deleted. So the next thing I'm going to do is to uh, adjust the brightness and the contrast of the image. This is for uh, have a better uh, color of, of the image. So I'm gonna uh, Once you have uh, a good look of your of the color of your image, uh, you are going to uh, make. You're going to posterize the image, and this is for uh, separate uh, the layers of the color, and this will. Uh, this will help you with uh, uh, to the, the definition of your image once you have uh, the the different layers and the half tone effect applied to the image. So I'm going to image mode. Sorry, uh, I'm going to image adjustments, then posterize, and here I'm going to select the number of layers. For this image, I'm gonna use 12 layers. Then the next step is to select the image and I'm gonna put it in a new file. Copy. I'm going to File, New. Here I'm going to select the size of the file. I'm gonna use uh, the letter size and this is important, you need to choose the color mode to color CMYK. I'm gonna paste my image and I'm gonna adjust the size of the image. Well, we have Right, uh, the image ready to start to uh, separate the colors. So I'm gonna select the layer of the image, and I'm gonna uh, select this up. Cl right click on the on the layer, and then I'm gonna select flatten image. Now I'm going to select the channels, and in this menu. I'm gonna select split channels and as you can see uh, you're gonna have four different files one for each color I have black yellow magenta and cyan now uh, we are ready to apply the half tone effect for each layer and before we uh, start with the halftone effect, 
it's important to know that for CMYK printing you will need to choose the right angle for each color and as you can see this is the most common angles for CMYK printing for yellow you need use uh, 0 degrees for cyan 15 degrees black 45 degrees and magenta 75 degrees now I'm gonna start with the black layer uh, I'm gonna I'm going to mo image mode bitmap and here you're gonna select as method the halftone option so in the next window you will uh, gonna choose the number of lines per inch that uh, you want to have and you're gonna select 7.5 in the angle as we saw before uh, for the black color I'm gonna use 45 degrees and in, in form or mode I'm gonna select line Okay, and as you see, uh, we have the half tone effect for the black color. The next step is uh, assign the, the color for this layer. So I'm gonna uh, I'm going to image mode black scale and left left the factor size at one. Next, I'm going again to image mode duotone and here I'm going to select the color of the of this layer in the same way K uh, mode. Um, I'm going to select black. Okay, and finally I'm gonna change the mode of the image again to same way K. I'm going to image mode and same way K. I'm gonna repeat this step for all the layers. So I'm going to yellow. First, uh, we're going to apply the half tone effect. So I'm going to image mode, bitmap, half tone, and for yellow, I'm gonna use zero degrees. Next, I'm going to image mode, grayscale. Okay image mode dual turn I'm gonna select yellow and image mode color scene wake I'm going to the magenta layer I'm going to image mode bitmap here I'm gonna use 75 degrees Okay, then I'm going to image mode, grayscale, image mode, Colosseum YK, oh sorry, uh, I'm gonna, first I need to put the color, so I'm going to image mode, duotone, magenta, and I'm gonna change the, the mode to CMYK and finally I'm going to the CN layer image mode bitmap here I'm going to use 15 degrees for CN I'm going to image mode great scale image mode dual turn and here I'm going to select cyan and finally image mode and color cyan wake well at this point we we already have one layer for each color but be, uh, before we go to print a uh, the, the layers for start cutting our stencil uh, we want to know how uh, we will look the final result of our stencil 
to do that I'm going to create a new file first I'm gonna copy the image I'm going to start with black I'm going to a new file okay and I paste my image and then I'm going to paste all the layers in one file and select copy and paste to the final file next magenta select copy and paste and finally the cyan color select copy and I will paste to the final file now I have all the layers and colors in the same file to, to see the final result uh, of the of the Houston CMYK uh, stencil I'm gonna put the black layer always on top and uh, this is the order you going to paint your stencil you're going to uh, paint first the yellow then the magenta cyan and finally the black always the last color you're going to paint is black uh, to see uh, 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 the final result of the stencil I'm gonna hide these layers and with only the black layer selected I'm gonna to I'm going to this drop down menu and I'm gonna choose multiply then I hide the black layer and going to the cyan and apply the same uh, the, the same option it's multiply and hide this and I'm going to do the same for magenta uh, in the yellow layer I'm gonna let the option in normal and I'm gonna uh, show all the layers and as you will see you can have a good idea of w which well uh, of which uh, gonna be the result of your stencil so you are ready to print each layer and after make some cuts uh, you can apply your spray paint and have your your stencil ready um, don't forget to make the bridge uh, for uh, when you're cutting the, the stencil this is important you can do it here with the lasso tool also but I prefer do it uh, once I'm cutting the the stencil for me it's easier to do it but this step is very important so uh, this is all uh, that are all the steps that you need to follow to uh, make uh, this kind of stencil I hope uh, this is helpful for you and you can uh, make uh, stencils with this technique so thank you guys